hey guys i'm back again um i'm making this video and i took some notes on things that i wanted to cover uh things i noticed since i had surgery so one thing i don't need my glasses anymore apparently after the surgery my eyesight has been a lot better so um i have an appointment with the eye doctor well ophthalmologist on Friday coming up. Today is Saturday. So I will go see her on Friday. And I told them that I can't see through my glasses. It's a big old blur. So I guess I just wore these for you just so you could see that. Um, let's see. I'm gonna talk about a couple of things that I know this since the surgery. And like I said, I had a couple of questions and all of this is gonna cover all those questions that uh, I've got some questions from people who've recently gotten diagnosed. And so I'm going to quickly cover all these things. So we covered the eyesight. I can't see anything through my glasses. I mean, even the small print on my sticky note, I couldn't see it. From I, My glasses is for distance. And so I can't see distance and I can't see up close with those glasses. I actually don't wear them anymore. If I wear it, it's... I don't know why I would wear it, but I sometimes I just do it out of habit. I don't know. But um, let's see. As far as walking, I am not using my walker anymore because my uh, legs have gotten stronger. I have gotten balanced. And so right now I'm using my cane, but uh, I've been walking without the cane too, just to get my leg strength up for uh, work I'm going to in a couple of weeks um let's see uh i'm not on any medicine so i've had two rounds of like narco narcotics or whatever it is and then i had my muscle relaxer so since i've been feeling a little better and all my uh all my pain pills had ran out but i still have my muscle relaxer so i went and called uh, my surgeon's office and spoke to the nurse about the uh, the muscle relaxer. She said that if I didn't want to take it, I don't have to. And I really don't because I can't get anything done while I'm on that muscle relaxer. I, I, I could take that pill and then I'm sleeping 30 minutes. And that's not functional at all. When you're taking a bunch of naps a day, they're like three hours, I can't get anything done. Let's see. So, oh, uh, I guess, this might have been the first thing I noticed besides the glasses thing was like my handwriting was different. Uh, when I came out the hospital, I'm left-handed. So usually I write rather neat, but it took a while, I guess, for, for me to get back to myself. So it didn't matter what I was writing. It just, I, it would feel right. But when I look at the paper, it was a mess. So that took a little while. Um, another thing I noticed since I've had the surgery was that my taste buds change. Um, I've been, I could have a bag of chips and they're disgusting. I could have certain foods, nasty. And that really don't bother me that much considering that it's all the junk food. Really, that's what's nasty right now. And so I guess that kind of works. I'm not really complaining about that one, but that's it's just a funny thing. Um, yeah, so about that pain thing, uh, since all that, since I'm not on the um, muscle relaxer and I don't have any pain meds, I've been taking Tylenol, the 12 hour one, and I've been taking that as needed. And the last time I took that was about two days ago because I noticed that I'm not in pain. I have full range of my neck, besides, like, I guess when I put my neck back, but we're not even supposed to be doing that. So. I have full range. I'm not in any pain besides sometimes it'll get tight at the incision. But really I'm not in any pain. I'm doing pretty good as far as recovery. So I take Tylenol as needed. And I'm not in that muscle relaxer. So doing all those things make me feel like I'm back to myself. Um, let's see. My appointment. They moved my appointment to three weeks from now, July 17th. And that's because I'm supposed to be seeing the doctor six weeks after I had the surgery. So that puts me at the six week point. And during that time, he's gonna tell me if I need, if I can 
lift over 10 pounds, which I'm hoping because I haven't picked up my toddler in a long time. So the good thing is I had him climb up, but he'll ask me to pick him up. I said, no, I can't pick you up. So I'll be happy when I get that. And plus, I, I think I need to build up a lot of my strength. Like I told you about my legs, but you know, the legs thing, I guess that in the hospital, that's kind of common. And so I didn't walk out with a neck brace. I remember I was practicing right in the ICU on my neck uh, exercises. So uh, it's just, I'm just feeling weak because I can't exercise like I really wanted to. And so it just got me, I need to work out or do something, which I can't do because I have to wait to the six weeks. So the only thing I'm doing about that is the the taste buds thing helps me eat nothing but good food. And plus, I've been wearing a waist trainer. That's all I could do. And I've been, uh, well, not really walking, but I do walk around. And today, I actually went to the store. So I, I didn't bring my cane in. And I did pretty good. So my legs didn't get tired or anything. So that actually worked out a little bit. But I've been trying to lift my leg up, kind of like that, to get my... uh muscles uh, back on board because I know once I go back to my job working at the school I'm gonna need to be able to move around like I usually do and plus I would like to get back to myself so the arm strength the leg strength is all stuff I need to work on um, so yeah so my appointment is going to be July 17th they're going to just make sure I'm not having any leaks, which I haven't. I haven't had any fluid leak onto a pillowcase or anything like that. And really, I don't know what all that appointment uh, will entail, but I guess in that appointment, they'll let me know if I have, if I can drive, if I'm safe to drive, and if I can lift over 10 pounds, and if I could get back to my exercising. So I can't wait for that appointment. Um, let's see. So... My family and my husband been saying, and I'm going to get one of them to take a picture of the back because I'm horrible at getting it. They said my incision, uh, they could kind of like barely see it because my hair started growing in and I have like thick hair. So they said it, it looks really good and it looked good even when right in the hospital. He just did that little uh, line and then he had, you know, the machines that pulled the skin here and another one here. So... They said it looks really good. It looked more like a... My husband said it looked more like a scratch. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have somebody take a picture of it so I could see, so you guys could see what it looks like. Now, if you follow me on Facebook, that's where I'm going to put it. And I'll put something like, uh, I don't know, viewer watch or don't watch it or something like that. I can't even remember what I'd be putting. But, um, or graphic, graphic picture. And that's only because I know everybody can't deal with looking at stuff like that. Even though it may look good, some people don't want to open their Facebook and want to see the back of my head. So I always put that and then go ahead and put my picture in the comments just to make, you know, life a little easier. So if you follow me on Facebook, it's the same thing, Mrs. Brain thing on Facebook. That's why I upload all my pictures to because I'm still kind of new to YouTube and Facebook I'm more comfortable so I'm gonna have somebody uh, take a picture and we're gonna see what it looked like. Cause my mother said it looks really good. And he said it looked like a scratch, you know. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, if you see, I'm not at my parents' house. I'm actually at my house. But this, I slept here last night. My husband picked me and the baby up around six at my parents' house. These two nights, Last night and this night is what we're calling a trial, trial period, because my mother, well, my mother, my whole family over there, my mother, dad, and sisters, and my husband believe that I'm not ready to come back home because I can't tend to uh, the baby and, you know, that I can't do and lift everything like I'm supposed to. But my toddler could walk. He's three. So I told him that like, I would be okay, but... You know, they said this is a trial period. So all my stuff is still at my parents' house, but we're sleeping. We slept over here last night and we're sleeping tonight. So tomorrow will be Sunday. So he will drop us off 
early in the morning. Well, not early, but before he go on to church, he's going to drop us off at my parents' house. So, um, and you know what? While we're speaking about that, when I come at, came out the hospital, my uh, mom or my husband, he bought new pillows. I told them I want nice, soft ones, kind of like the hospital. But I did notice where, when I'm at my parents' house, I'm more comfortable because I have the soft pillows. So that, you know, did okay with the incision and all the pain and stuff. And so when I slept here last night on my regular pillow, um, it was harder to get comfortable. It, was, it, was, it wasn't painful or anything, but it's hard to get comfortable on a regular pillow I had, I don't know, just for a little bit. But it's not soft like the one at my parents' house. It's, it's a little more firm. So once I really do leave my parents' house, you know, I'm going to bring my pillow so I can be more comfortable. Now, as far as sleeping, I cannot sleep on my back. I've never been a back sleeper anyway. But if you are, I can't sleep on my back because it feels like you're, uh, what they call it, hyper extending your neck. And you're really not supposed to do that anyway. Like, after the surgery, I just don't do that. So I could sleep on my uh, left and right side, which is what they really want you to do anyway, and I could sleep on my stomach. But it was, last night, it wasn't painful. It was just, I couldn't get comfortable. I was up, uh, felt like every hour on the hour. I'm not tired right now, but it was, uh, it was not as comfortable as it could have been, so. I think I've done okay since being here, but I kind of am now looking forward to going back to my parents' house for a little bit. So then I'll be back on my soft pillows and, you know, they got the whole room set up for me. So, uh, but I do like being back home to my things, to my surrounding, but they all said I'm not ready to come home. And I think I'm close. I don't want to stay there until, you know, it's time for me to go back to work. I just need to get a place where uh, I feel like 90% back to myself. And right now, even though I explained all those good things that's happening, I still feel like I'm more like 70% myself because there's still things that I can't do. Like when I was getting out my, I have a, um, a navigator. And I don't know why it was so tough for me to open the door. And then here go my husband opened the door. So it's just little little silly, stupid things like that that kind of like irritates me. But I have to get my strength back. So uh, let me make sure I cover all everything in the email and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I wanted to update, and then I covered some questions I got in my email. You guys. You guys could email me any questions you have. It's Mrs. MRS dot brain dot thing, T H A N G, at gmail dot com. So email me if you have questions, if you're going through something and you don't understand, or whatever the case may be. I check my email. Um, and like I said, I'm going to try to get that picture in on today so we can see what the back is looking like. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to wash my hair. I'm hoping I could wash it tomorrow, but I'm still in the middle of school. I'm taking uh, classes over this summer semester, if you could believe that. And I'm passing all of them, which I don't even know how I'm doing that. But um, I have a lot of stuff due tomorrow. So I may not wash it tomorrow, but when I do, probably Sunday, I'm going to try and style it my regular styling. You know, like I usually just flat iron it. This isn't flat ironed. This is just I washed my hair and didn't put nothing in it. Because during that time, it was when I put my head in the sink, it was like my scalp was tender. But now my scalp feels fine. So I could go ahead and shampoo it how it's supposed to be shampooed. I think I'm going to wait until um, close to when I go back to work. Let's say early July until so I could actually put a relaxer in. Now he said I could do this error in the back. I'm going to try to avoid that. I'm probably going to go around it with the relaxer, if you could picture that. But, yeah, I don't know. That makes me nervous. So I'm, I may avoid that little area. So I'm going to try and do my normal styling when I do wash my hair. So, um, yeah, we're going to try it. So 
Anyway, I'm Mrs. Brain Thing, and that's it for today. I'll do an update when probably in the next couple of days or week. Bye.